Joining us now, Texas Congressman Pat Fallon. Congressman, your reaction to the, that report, President Biden has never been to the border since he's been in D.C. since the Nixon era. So he's not, again, he's not going, even though he's near it. You know, Liz, yeah, he's been in Washington far too long. But he's been president for 652 days, and he's never visited the border. He's in New Mexico now. He's going on to California, and he still won't go to the border. And the reason is because he is too, you know, fixated uh, you know, he doesn't understand that when you stick your head in the sand and ignore a problem, it doesn't go away. And he'd rather, you know, he doesn't want to secure the border. And uh, I, I, it perplexes me as to why. Congressman, the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, says at least, administration, at least half a dozen Mexican drug cartels are now swamping more than a dozen U.S. cities with drug gangs and crime. We're talking Chicago, L.A., New York City, Detroit, New Orleans and Chicago have been trading spots as the number one U.S. murder capital. So, you know what I mean? So that's connected to the border, but he's not going to the border. Well, what, Joe, what Joe Biden has done, Liz, is he's made every state a border state. Since he's been president, we've seized 25,000 pounds of fentanyl. Just last month, it was 414 million lethal doses, doses have been seized. And this is asymmetrical warfare, make no mistake about it. We lost 107,000 Americans last year to opioid overdoses, 80,000 to fentanyl. Most of fentanyl is produced in China. We lost 297 Americans during World War II every single day. We've lost 293 every day last year. So it's very similar. We need to have Joe Biden. I know he's woke, but he needs to be awake and see what the problem for what it is. You know, to your point, there's also the story. Let's move to this. Reports that Homeland Security will deport the man who attacked Nancy Pelosi's husband. He is an illegal immigrant. Actually, he's not, he overstayed a visitor visa. He's been here illegally from Canada since 2018, and ICE filed an immigration detainer on him. He's facing federal and state charges. Your reaction to that story? Well, you know, just like uh, firearms, they're perfectly fine if they're used to guard liberals, but they don't want us to have firearms. And they're going to deport this fellow. They should deport him after he serves his time uh, for what, you know, when, if he gets convicted. And but what about the, hunt, the tens of thousands of criminals that are in this country that, uh, you know, the ICE would put out a detainer and then the sanctuary cities and sanctuary states wouldn't, uh, you know, honor it? That just makes all Americans less safe. And Congressman, uh, and they're not even following the law. To your point, at least at least three people were shot in Houston yesterday during what police described as a human smuggling operation. Police officers dispatched to an IHOP. They found two men. One guy was shot in the arm. They told them that they had escaped from human smugglers at a nearby hotel. This is happening in Houston. Your final word. Well, yeah, Liz, I mean, we, we have seen the last month, 227,000 illegal border crossings. That's the worst September we have ever had. The Mexican drug cartels make between 25 and $30 billion a year with illegal narcotics, and they're making another about $14 billion on human smuggling because they charge $4,000 a person. So it's an absolute, not even a crisis, it's a catastrophe, and the border is on the ballot come next Tuesday. Got it. Congressman Fallon, thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate you coming on. Thanks, Liz.